Hey, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to perform a front blackout of a uh, 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. Um, I'm using Plasti Dip. It's a plastic coating that you can apply to your car without making it permanent. And um, so it's a good way to change the look of your car if you don't want a permanent change. Um, what you can do is you can you can apply it straight onto the car, but for best results, you might want to take the uh, grill off. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, there are four plastic um, plugs like this you need to take out. So take a flathead screwdriver, just push it underneath, pop it up, and take them out. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do to be able to take off the uh, air diffuser here, is um, there are going to be two little plugs here holding the uh, the uh, intake on. What you want to do is you want to put the flathead screwdriver underneath the plugs, grab a pair of pliers, grab it from the other side, and just it should pop right out. All right, the next thing you need to do is go underneath the grill. There are these plastic clips that you need to push up and lift over the bottom of the grill right there. On each bottom corner, there are two screws that hold the grill on along with the plastic clips. There are two plastic clips right here that pop into these slots right there. It'll take a little bit of effort, but they'll come out eventually. There's a screw right there that you need to untwist or unscrew, and then it'll just pop right off, and then the grill will be loose. Okay, these plastic clips are gonna be the hardest to get out. Some people uh, break this black plastic part. Um, you kinda have to work with it and uh, be patient and not be too forceful, but it does require some force, so good luck. As you can see, uh, I did end up breaking the plastic clips that were supposed to be on here off, but they're manufactured not to come off, so I ended up deciding that I would have to break them. If you need to drive your car while you're busy plastic dipping your uh, uh, grill or the chrome trim, um, you can pop the air diffuser back onto the car just for daily driving until you're done this, then you can reassemble it back. The emblem should be all taped up. Uh, be careful when you do this. Uh, if you're gonna do it, might as well do it right. Be very detailed on 
each side of the emblem as you don't want your plastic dip sticking to the tape and the emblem or it will come off as one piece. Once you have both your pieces um, all plastic dip and the tapes removed, you can just pop them on, clip them right back in, and uh, put the screws in then we'll put it back on the car later. Once you have your grill all finished, you can just pop the plugs out, tear up, take off the air diffuser, um, just screw back on the grill and uh, you should be good to go. Okay. The plastic dip creates a flush paint job that you wouldn't be able to tell from any other equipment, original equipment manufactured part. Um, <clears throat> you should layer it um, by doing uh, three or four coats of each color um, individually and having three to four hours to dry before you do the next coat. Um, you can replace the tape in between coats, that would probably be a good idea. And yeah, just. Have fun.